it's Ola and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another bullet journal video and today I am going to be sharing my content creator planner and my bullet journal and how I use it to plan out my content for all of my social medias and obviously you can uh, personalize them to fit your personal needs and find some inspiration. For this setup, I am using a Dingbat notebook from the Earth collection and I have been using these journals for my fourth year of bullet journaling now and all of my supplies will be listed in the description box down below as well and there's also a coupon code for you guys for the dingbat notebooks if you are interested in getting one for yourself you can use code o at 10 to get 10 percent off your next order so check it out if you are interested in getting one for yourself before we get started with this video, I will leave timestamps of all of the different spreads in the description box down below as well. And if you are interested in one particular spread, you can go and watch only that one. And also, there will be a flip through of all of the pages at the end of the video. So if you want to see a closer look at one of the spreads, that's where you need to see. The first page for this video is going to be a growth tracker and this one is for all of the different social medias that I have and just to have everything in one place to keep the analytics of each social media platform and have it by month so you can see your growth and how uh, you're doing all throughout the year and also have an idea of what works what doesn't and what you can do to make it better uh, it's just a great way to have a lot more insights on what's going on so the way i did mine i just have this giant tablet um table spread that's what i was trying to say and basically i just have the first column which is uh, 10 squares wide and this column is for each different um, stream of information and then the following columns are each for one day of the uh, one month of the year sorry I apparently cannot talk today um, and I'm starting from January, but obviously with this kind of tracker, you can start with any month. And I just have going down one line uh, for each month to fill it in with the analytics um, to give you guys an idea of the ones that I will be tracking. I have YouTube subscribers, views, and watch time. All three are separate. And then I have TikTok followers and likes count, uh, Instagram followers, Instagram likes, Instagram most views per month, and then Pinterest followers and Pinterest views or monthly views. So those are kind of some ideas of what you can do, but you can obviously add more or less depending on your needs. Moving on to my next tracker, which is a YouTube posting tracker, and it is to help me be more consistent with my posting on my YouTube channel. I have as one of my goals for this year to stick to my schedule and be more consistent, so I need to be able to see how I'm doing in order to make a change and actually see also the progress and just see how I'm doing. So I had decided to make a um, yearly tracker out of it. If you have never seen one of these, it is um, inspired by the year in pixel tracker, which is normally to track your moods, but it can basically be used to track anything during the year. 
It is just a grid with a day for each day of the year and you have 12 columns for the 12 month of the year and then going down you have 31 days for the 31 days of the month and you just black out at the bottom the days that aren't in the particular month so for example february only has 28 days so i blocked off the uh three last ones and then i just added at the top the days of the the name of the month and then the days of the month on the side just to have it everything um laid out and then i just added the uh, title which is youtube posting tracker i kept everything like really simple and usually just stick to the colors of the social media for any kind of decorations but i kept everything pretty minimal other than that and for my key i have nothing so if i didn't post anything i have if i posted a video so a video like this one Hey shorts, I am slowly trying to post a little bit more on my shorts and then if I did a post which is a community post um, for my subscribers to see if I have any updates or anything special that I want to share on there. And now we can move on to my next page which is also a YouTube related page. This one is a YouTube content ideas. It is a really simple layout. I just have the four quadrants of the page uh, laid out with just rounded edges. The boxes are 12 squares by 14 squares. And to make them a little bit more interesting, I added some drop shadows and those are really simple to make you basically just take any kind of pen that you want and you choose two corners of a box usually you would do two, one on the side and one at the bottom and you just do the line across like kind of on the side of it so it's like coming from behind kind of and then I'm adding obviously the title, which is YouTube content ideas. And I've divided it into four categories to make my life a little bit more simple because I have multiple niches of content and multiple categories of content. So I can just organize them by the types of video that they are and have everything in one place for when I need a video idea and when I need to have something to add to my posting schedule, I just have everything in one place and for me it's easier to have everything written down in paper than having it on my phone where I usually tend to forget about it. This next tracker is the exact same that I did on the previous spread, which is a year in pixel, but this time the only difference is for what social media it is. I am using uh, this one for Instagram and the way of making it and the way of using it is the exact same also a little bit of self promo but if you are interested in following me on any of my other socials first of all you can subscribe to my youtube channel it always helps my channel out and also check out the description box for all of my other socials i have all of them listed down there but for this tracker i just have a lot more options for the key but other than that I will be using it the exact same just by writing every day which option I have done and for this one I have um, the first one is obviously nothing if I didn't post anything um, if I did a post a reel 
a story, if I did a post and a story, a reel and a story, and if I did a post, a reel and a story. Um, since um, the account that I'm making this tracker for is my bullet journal account, sometimes I post twice a day doing a post and a reel. So that's why I have so many options in the key. The next page I am making is an Instagram dashboard, I think is the best way to explain the why I make this spread. Basically it is to keep everything related to my Instagram account. It is the same layout as I did for the YouTube content ideas. I just have the four um, boxes which are 12 by 14 and I also did the drop shadows the exact same way and I have four categories but they are not for content idea this time it is for information that I might need. So I have uh, one box for all of the tags so all of the accounts that I tag pretty frequently so that I have them all in one list and then I have four ha hashtags so all of the really big ones for my account that I need to refer back to and that never changes and then I have reels hashtags so reels specific hashtags and then just others um I wasn't sure what the fourth one would be so I just have a other one to add anything else. Going back to a YouTube related spread and this one might be um, useful to do for any social media but I personally wouldn't need them so I didn't do them. The idea is basically just a checklist of everything you need to do for that platform. I did this one uh, for YouTube, so everything that I need to do before I can post a video. I didn't include filming the video because that's uh, pretty obvious and I separated everything into three categories. I just have a simple header at the top which is just a simple banner and then underneath it i have the three sections on top of each other i have editing posting and promotion as my three categories and then in each one i have a series of to do's that i need to do before i can post a video and this is kind of why i made this spread because sometimes i tend to forget a step into making one of my videos and that is not good because it impacts the quality but sometimes I don't have the brain power to remember all of these steps to editing a video so I thought I would make this and maybe it could help someone else out that also feels like there's a lot of steps to editing a video. Um, but basically, I just have uh, doing the rough cut and then voiceover if one is needed, text overlays, music, transitions, and promo text, things like subscribe to my channel or like follow me on TikTok or anything like that that I add on top of the video later on. And then for posting, I have create a title write a uh, description, add keywords, make thumbnails, and then for promotion I just have Pinterest and Instagram story. Uh, but those are a little bit more optional. And we are now moving on to my monthly calendar view for planning my channel and all of my social medias. This one is more of a experimental page for me. I haven't tried it yet. But I really want to experiment a little bit more 
on how I plan all of my content and I feel like having everything into one calendar might be a little bit more visual for me to see everything at once. So the way I did this is just by having this really tiny calendar. Each day is three by three squares and there's a two squares header at the top to write the days of the week. And then I just have a little flag just like I did for the title of the page um, on the page next to it but with only one side of the flag for putting the month. And then at the bottom I have a key and I will have a different color for each social media and I can just um, put all of the content ideas and content planning uh, or if I want to film certain videos on certain days and stuff like that I can have it in that calendar if that makes sense. Um, and then I have at the bottom a section for YouTube schedule uh, because I want to really focus more on YouTube than any other things. I am a little bit more spontaneous when it comes to the other social media platforms. And we are now already onto our very last spread for this video, which is a video planner. It is also a YouTube related spread. I'm sorry if you wanted some more things for other social medias, but if you are looking for that, I have another video where I talk a little bit more about a bunch of other social media platforms, but this one I really needed things for YouTube. Um, so this is a uh, video planner. It is just a list of all of the content that I want to put out and then I have the first column for the title and then the second title for the date and then a series of checklists of all of the steps from the checklist um, such as plan the video, film the video, edit, uh, take a thumbnail, voiceover, post, and upload it to YouTube. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but I am trying a new layout for this year. I will see if it works for me or not. But for now, I feel like I might like it. And I just added a line of gray every two lines just so that I can have a separation between each line in the text. But I kept it really simple, um, just nothing too crazy. And uh, also I wanted to say that right after this, I have um, the flip through coming on and I added a few different spreads from a another notebook that I was using at the end of the year, which is all yearly uh, well, just follower trackers uh, for all of my socials and I made them in between the two videos that I have on content creation planners and if you want a little bit more of inspiration you can look through that flip through. I just have a few more ideas on there which I didn't share before so I thought that I would share them. Uh, some of them are already used, but I thought I would still share them and then we just have the actual flip through of today's spreads um, But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed if you want to see more definitely subscribe for more Don't forget to check out all of my other socials in the description box down below and also to check out my channel if you want more bullet journal content ideas and i will see you guys in the next one bye